Hey, I'm Nick Bio. Welcome to Pocket News for Monday, the 3rd of October. Today on the show, Music Without Soul and Terraria's big role playing redesign. All right, here's what's been making headlines. And first up, there's a Skyrim concert coming, but it's got no soul. With an E. It's one of these jokes that only works on paper. Bethesda has announced Skyrim in concert, but the game's composer, Jeremy Soul, is not involved. The concert, organized in conjunction with UK promoter Sembla, is a promotional event to celebrate the launch of Skyrim Remastered and will be held at the London Palladium this November. The one-off show will feature music composed by Soul for the game, as well as some original arrangements, but Soul didn't even know about it until the ticket sales were announced. Which is odd, you'd think Bethesda would notify him that they were about to use his music, but maybe he's on the raw end of a shitty Nick Boy contract. In a post on his public Facebook page, he said, quote, This is the first I've heard of it. For the record, this concert has nothing to do with me, nor are they using any of my original scores. To be sure, I don't know who these people are, and I don't endorse a concert that is trading on my name and music that has absolutely no oversight or involvement on my part. For my fans, I just want you to know what you're getting if you pay to attend this concert. Be wary. Mr. Soul, if you're watching, I'd like to formally invite you to the Pocket Studio to hold a concert of your choosing. The space is yours if you choose it. It is an acoustic marvel. <laughs> Moving on. And veteran Square Enix developer Yusuke Naura has left the studio after 24 years with the company. Naura is best known for his artistic work on the Final Fantasy series, having joined the team back in 94 to work on Final Fantasy VI. His work has brought him all the way through to Final Fantasy XV, on which he served as the art director. So he's the one responsible for that boy band hairdo! The game is due to launch this November, and it has been reported that Naura will move to an independent role, but will continue working with Square on an ad hoc basis in the foreseeable future. And there's a bunch of shooter news for some reason, starting with Halo 5's breakout mode, which is getting an overhaul. The mode was a distinctive change for the series. It stripped players of their shields in favor of a small health buff and limited weapons and ammunition in short, round-based combat. It was a bare-bones experience to be sure, but refreshingly different to the game's many other offerings. However, 343 has revealed in their latest blog post that they will be tweaking the mode. They're redesigning all of the launch maps and adding a new community one to the rotation. That's good. But they're also going to give players classic shields and different starting weapons to make the mode feel, to quote 343's Quinn Del Hoyo, closer to the Halo gameplay that I love. That's bad. By making the game feel like all the other Halo modes, then you're removing what's unique. And it's a massive cop out if you ask me. And by me, I mean Pete. Moving on. The final piece of Black Ops 3 DLC will be out this week for non-PS4 players. The Salvation expansion launched for PlayStation 4 last month with a release date TBC for other platforms. COD dedicated website Charlie Intel is now reporting that the pack will launch on PC and Xbox One this week, October 6th. Get shooty! And for those of you who don't mind spoiling things for yourself, put the milk outside, because this one's coming in hot. Westy has uploaded 12 minutes of Battlefield 1's single-player story mission, which shows off some frontline combat. Interestingly, each time you die, you take control of another soldier and leave your former self in the mud. I'm not sure if that continues throughout the campaign, but it's probably the case for all the big open Battlefield missions. There's a link in the description below for those of you interested. For those of you who are not interested, here's thing of the day. Those of you who were interested, you're not allowed to watch this next bit. Thing of the day. It's thing of the day. A small team of passionate diggers have created a free Terraria mod which turns the game into a single player RPG. Super Terraria World adds skills, quests, NPCs, items and gameplay mechanics to an epic solo adventure with a narrative that will take players across numerous worlds. The developers plan to turn it into an MMO down the line, but for now, it's just one miner against the world. Thing of the day. All right, that's it for fucking news today. My fucking news this afternoon on the Pocket YouTube channel. It's This Week in Games, where I will tell you what's coming out this week in games. It's not all games, but it's ones we care about. And then sometimes it's also some ones where we go, we just got to pat this video out a little bit. Also, a big thank you to everyone who said hi to me at EB Games Expo over the weekend and came to our live shows. It was quite fun. Did you not come? Do you want to relive the experience from someone else telling you? Then join the Pocketeers Facebook group and Sting group. There are links to everything I just said in the description below. Today's thing of the day graphic was made by the Brunster. If you've made a thing, please send it in. Until we next send my Pocketeers, Nick, by out. Mwah! This one's cats, right?
Brunster's cats. Number four, battle right. Not sure which side it's gonna be. I glazed over this one in our This Week in Games episode last week by saying, quote, Battle Right will let you shoot things in an arena. Nick, you catty little minx. 